Here's Johnny. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. Hello, this is Real to Real, a show where FAU students' movies can be showcased. I'm Daniel Cardenas, and I have a special guest here, Matthew. Hi. He's president of the film club. So tell me a little bit more about the film club. Um, well, we sort of just started. I mean, the film club's been around for years and years and years, but it keeps uh, failing, to be, to be frank. Um, so last year, when it sort of dissipated, um, there was no one really to step up, so this year I took over the reins. And uh, yeah, I think we're doing pretty good so far. What's your uh, current projects that you've been working on? Uh, we made two films so far. Uh, the first one was Doggy Dog. The second one was uh, Karma Carousel. And uh, we're shooting a third one Monday, so that's going to be good. Nice. Uh, do you have any, um, any specific kind of things you practice on during, during these uh, film club meetings that you try to get better at? Yeah, I mean, tonight I think we're, gonna, we're really going to focus on what uh, each position of a crew does, like on a film set. I think a lot of people they have like a vague idea of what it what they do and um, I'm gonna try to practice we're gonna go through each position and go through what they actually do because um, really it's a lot of different parts operating at once to work for a film set so that's we're gonna be working on that do you watch any movies in the film club try to get more experience or uh... Uh, well <laughs> I mean we watch movies sometimes we have screenings when we screen our movies I think that's more for uh, ourselves just to watch movies because we love movies it's not like we watch it and we're taking notes and mm -hmm. it's not like a film class or anything uh, but we watch movies sometimes just to just to watch movies <laughs> so what's your inspiration usually that you find uh, in most movies that you want to kind of kind of take from uh, I mean it's a lot it's a lot of stuff it's usually just movies you love I mean we all love movies and uh, it's the ones that we love the most we see something we want to do that or at least a lot of filmmakers I see want to do it um, and I read a quote somewhere like, the best filmmakers steal from the best, and like that's what I do, and you know, I just, it's great stuff. It's your experience. Um, yeah. Is there any particular work that you've done that uh, you think was really good or really bad? Of my own films? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I made some stuff in high school. It's a little, it's a little uh, rough. And this this first one we did, I thought it was complete crap. I mean, we messed up on so many. I messed up on so many stuff. But the magic of editing and post production it makes it look makes it look complete. It makes it look a lot better than you know you thought it was. Yeah, it's all part of the process. I mean, you can't start out just being the best. You have no, to I mean you can look at it halfway through and it's just gonna be it's just gonna be crap. Exactly. Mistakes are always, always like done in while while uh, filming. Obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. What what, uh, what problems did you? bump into while making your movie? Uh, well, this first one, we had, <laughs> there, were, there were a lot of problems. Uh, it was the first time I was using the film club camera, so I was unfamiliar with it, and uh, I, f I forgot to turn the volume on, the audio, so we didn't have audio, and I didn't realize that until later. Uh, so I had to sort of, I came up with the idea to work around it, and we just dubbed the audio later, and sort of made it work, and I think it came out pretty nice. Yeah, post production, a lot of things could be fixed there. Yeah, and yeah, make we're it look lucky. better. Yeah, I think, yeah, it came out really, it sort of worked with the whole storytelling frame up, you know. So, yeah, we ended up uh, dubbing over it, re recording. That took hours. It seemed like that was a pretty good addition. It seemed like it, it did, right? I thought, I thought it was, purpose, uh, it it was purposely done. It was purposely done, right? Yeah. yeah, it was pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> I'm good at, like, making, you know, making it look better than it actually is. Uh, yeah. So what was, uh, what's the movie about? Uh, the movie's about a kid, um, who pretty much, well, there's sort of two, like, plots, really. It's about a kid who, I think we could all relate, like, tries to get a good parking spot, and then another kid comes in and steals it, so they get into a fight, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty bloody, it's pretty messy, and then the way it's told is, um, broken up into, he's telling a story to his friends, and, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty... That like dry, hu black humor, I guess, is what I was going for. All right, well, um, that's Doggy Dog, and uh, let's watch it.
not mine, it's yours. <laughs> you know what that's from? I would never watch that. I've never, never watched that? Alright, there are movies playing in theaters yeah, right now that came like, out like two years ago. I don't know, like $15,000 to make that movie? Yeah, I know, and they're probably <laughs> making it like the Blair Witch Project. What? They made like $10,000? No. Like the Blair Witch. So. <laughs> what? what happened to you? What? What do you mean? Blair Witch. What happened? You alright? What the hell happened to you? Why are you so funny? What are you doing? What are you doing? On your hand. What happened to you? You know, what that happened? was just, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bleeding, man. What happened? What happened? Dude, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, I was in a fight, basically. Did he get hurt? Did he get hurt? I was in a fight. He got hospitalized. That was a joke. What happened? Don't you guys, he needs to go to the hospital, right? Yeah. No, no, I don't need to go to the hospital. See, what happened was, I woke up this morning and my car wouldn't start. So, I was already late to class, and on top of that, I had my math test, which I didn't even study for. So, yeah, basically, I was off to a bad start. And, to make things worse, FAU parking sucks monkey balls. I hate having to park in butt fucking Egypt and walk all the way across campus for a 50 minute class. So, I finally thought I found this great spot right in the front row. I mean, I was like, I was happy. I was like, woo, fuck yeah, I got a spot. Or, so I thought, because this dick wrangler, probably a trust fund baby, came out of nowhere and stole my fucking spot. So naturally, I was pissed the fuck off. So, I stopped, I got out of my car, so I can give him a piece of my mind. So I said to him, you bitch ass piece of shit, you still waiting for this goddamn spot. And he said, I don't care, see that's not my problem. Oh, it's gonna be a problem when I put potatoes in your fucking tailpipe and I blow up your car. Like, Pfft. And then he said some shit I really didn't understand. So then we start serving each other and I'm like, oh, look at me. I'm so cool in my shirt. Oh, you cool? I'll show you how cool you are. What, you gonna, you gonna hit me? Man, I'll dance around you all day, son. Oh, look at you trying to be all cool, dance around a little monkey. Bitch, don't be calling me no damn monkey. Ooh, I'll fucking, I'll, I'll rip your heart and fucking eat it, bitch. What the hell wrong with you? Go back, you better go back to Mexico on your little hatchback, son. You know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna kick your ass now. Wait, wait. What did he do to you? He slammed me against the car. Oh my god. Like, and then what happened? Did you hit him? I tried to. I just pushed him off. And then I heard somebody yell, stop. And there was this white kid just running towards us, shouting all this nonsense. And he like came up to us. Wait, so what did he say to you? Stop. Stop fighting, guys. Can't you see how stupid you're being? Yes, I know, I know, the parking situation at FAU sucks. But we have to come together as one. Share the spots, don't fight over them. Come on, what do you say? Now I was thinking, what the fuck is this white boy talking about? And then the big guy says, well, where are you part? Right, right over there. Why? <laughs> Wait, but are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. What, what about the blood? Oh, <laughs> funny thing is, uh, it's even my blood. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Well, uh, I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna go to a titty bar. <laughs>